So then, let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? And then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. That would be within the infinite multiplicity of choices you would have, of playing that you weren't God. Because the whole nature of the Godhead, according to this idea, is to play that he's not. So in this idea then, everybody is fundamentally the ultimate reality. Not God in a politically kingly sense, but God in the sense of being the self, the deep down basic whatever there is. And you're all that, only you're pretending you're not. postcard but it's also a mystery and, and mystery only in the sense that it, it's like two different things happening at the same time you know it's like this tourist paradise where the ultimate image of the Bahamas is is in the marketing and in the presentation pink sands and jelly coconut and party in the backyard that's all well and good and then there's the other side where um, Boy next to extreme luxury and privilege is, you know, basic island life, which is is work, more working class than anything else. Um, you know, but it's interesting. Everywhere you look is a postcard. Everywhere you look. like old colonial, old Bahamian style, um, high pitch roofs, uh, bright colors, and lots of um, shutters. They do shutter a lot. They, they like the shutters over there. I really should have brought my stabilizer. Now I'm regretting not having uh, it. I 
tried that walking on Harbor Island before, may happen. Gotta get around on a golf cart. Everywhere you go, uh, even though it's a tiny little island, it's still a lot of walking to be done. Uh, they like the bright colors though. They're very creative when it comes to the setup and the colors. But you need a golf cart to get around. It's expensive too. Yeah, it's a little expensive. And the service could be a little dodgy depending on the color of your skin. few times in my travels that I've actually been able to get out and go to the beach. I always pack a swimsuit, swim trunk, um, to go to the beach or to go to the pool. The pool never happens. The beach infrequently, but on Harbor Island I did get to go to the beach and get my pink sand. Focus, focus, focus. I turn this thing off. <laughs> <laughs>